Hi everyone, welcome back to the reinforcement learning tutorial. And uh, last time we will talk about the re basic idea about reinforcement learning. So in a typical reinforcement learning setup, you will have a environment that your computer can play with, and uh, you will have. Um, uh, reward function that define how many rewards you take action at some state. The re the environment gives you some feedback about your actions and give you uh, where are you at the next state. That's a kind of interacting with the uh, environment and the agent or com your computer. This time we'll uh, go through one another example that called maze is about this one and the red a square is the explorer, like the last time the explorer tried to get the treasure as soon as possible. So uh, this one is the explorer, and the yellow circle is the treasure. Red one achieve the uh, yellow one, they will get positive one reward. However, if if the red one accidentally jump into the black hole. You can think about this one is the black hole and the red one will get a negative one as the reward because they jump into a hole and never get up. So that is the setup. So if I run this video and you can see that at the beginning the red one knows nothing but they are trying to uh, get some idea about this environment, so they are exploring. And at some stage, the red one knows that I have been the black hole. I know that this one is the negative one reward. So I, next time I try to avoid this black hole. So as this learning process keep going, the red one, the red explorer knows that I have not come into the black one. So the, the chance to get to the hole are reducing. And you, you see that now the red one trying to directly go to the, uh, the positive one reward because they want to maximize their reward. So this is a typical reinforcement learning setup. The uh, agent or your computer try to maximize the reward they can get, try to avoid the punishment as well. I've shown you three of the files. That is, one is the environment called maze environment. That is the environment defined in here, this one, and one is the RL brand, which consists of if I just open like this, they have initial function and uh, choose action function, like, like before, we have to choose action based on our Q table. And this is the learning procedure, which takes the transition, which consists of the, uh, the state at now, and the action I'll take, and the reward that I get from the environment, and the next state that the environment put me on. So take all of these into consideration and to improve the values in my Q table that we saw last time. And this function is to check state exists because if there is no this kind of state in my experience or in my Q table, I just append this state onto my Q table. And the third file is updating rule for my Q learning. This is actually the zoo over here. If you don't understand the Chinese, just ignore that. But this one is the Q learning algorithm. So the the most important line in this algorithm is here, how to update your Q value in the table. So this one, the Q value uh, at state S and the action A, if you still remember last time I show you the Q table at state S and uh, action A, you can find out this particular value for the state action pair. So uh, how to update this state action pair that value is just uh, the old value plus a learning rate uh, times this error. This, this error we call TD error, that is tempo difference error. It's okay, it doesn't matter if you don't understand what is TD error, just the point. Just, just let you know that TD error is one step learning method. So uh, every step we're updating the Q table. Another method like the macro decision process that is, uh, that is uh, episode update method that you, you experience whole episodes and update this whole episode at once. But the TD update 
the temporal difference update is just you uh, you take an action and you update once. This is more efficient than the old one. If you have good understanding on the machine learning, you will understand that I will try to explain this one uh, compared with the traditional machine learning problem. So in supervised learning, you have a target or you have a label, right? And you have the data. For example, the data is a whole picture. It has a cat in the picture and the label is the word cat. So. Uh, you try to match this picture of cats to the label of cats together and to predict uh, the accurate answer. The label in here is actually this part. This is the Q target. This is your target you try to achieve that. And this is your evaluation of your Q value. So if my evaluation of my Q value is less than my target, my real Q value, I try to uh, bridge this gap by a small amount of gradient to my Q uh, value in the table. So this is to say actually this is learning rate and this is the error or cost. You can think about this is actually like a cost. So the cost is consists of the Q target which is the reward you got and this is the another Q evaluation but it, this evaluation is is for your next step and uh, in your next step which action has the greatest value you just choose that value this is the maximum of your uh, next step value and this is the your current state and the action you already takes and what is that as a pair value in the table so uh, let's talk about the round this script um, I, will, I will import the maze environment and the RL brand and the RL brand will uh, interact with the environment and learn from the environment, learn from the reward. So the first step, the updating rule is that let me uh, consider 100 episodes. In each episode, in the beginning of that, the environment reset and uh, the environment will give you the initial observation. Observation is that, uh, for example, in, in this in this environment, the observation may be how many distance between the yellow point to the red in x axis, and what is distance between uh, the uh, red one to the yellow one in y axis in this direction and this direction. How many distance with that? After that, after the initial state, I will just do a while loop. So after that, the RL will choose an action based on the observation that means if, for example at this state i have our observation like the y axis has has one distance one unit distance x axis has two unit distance so the observation is one and two so based on this observation i will choose my action so this is the action choosing step the agent will take the action and the environment will give you what, it, what is the reward you get from this action at this state and what is the next state you experience. So the environment takes this, consider this action and puts the agent to another observation that is the next state and how many rewards you got from uh, this action and if this episode terminate this is down the, the down is true or false the rl will learn from this experience or learn from this transition and if we go back to the rl method rl brand the learn is considering the state current state and the action i take and the reward i receive and what is the next state and uh, if you look at this one the updating rule how many parameters or how many variables we need. So we need this current state and we need the, uh, the action we took to find out the Q value for current state action pair. And we need the uh, next state, but we don't need the uh, next action because we are choosing the maximum actions in next state. So this, we only need the next state and also we need the rewards in here so this one these two parts 
are the targets of our uh, supervised learning. And this one is the uh, evaluation about or prediction about the supervised learning. This Q learning method try to minimize these two together. This is the TD error with all the cost. Try to minimize this cost. And this is the key idea about the Q learning. After learning, so they just swap those two observations and for the next loop, the observation becomes to the next version for next step. Okay, if, if finally if down, when it's down, the down is that the red one jump to the black hole that is down, gets negative reward, or the red one gets to the yellow point that is the positive reward that gets the treasure. So that is done. We, br uh, we break the loop and try to uh, go to the next episode. So that is the learning method. So choosing action, we have observation, but maybe this observation is not, not exist. So check the state. If this state is, is not exist, then we append this observation or this state into my queue table. The rest of the part is exactly the same parts uh, in the previous tutorial. Just imagine that the uh, choosing action we introduce some randomness in the choosing action procedure. So at, for example, 90% of the chance I choose the maximum value for the action and 10% of the chance I choosing a, a random action for this state, for, the, for this observation. And learning is that taking account of this four element and also check if the next state next state is exist or not. Uh, if not, then append the next state to my uh, Q table. So append procedure is in here. So we append we append something to my Q table. Um, and uh, it, it, if that is not terminal, if that is not terminal, we have the Q target that we have discussed in here. The Q target is the reward plus gamma. Gamma is the is the reward discount. If you don't understand, just just put in here, and so we, you you can try different value of the gamma. So R plus gamma times the Q table, and this is the next state, and we found the maximum value in next state in the Q table. So this is equivalent to this one. If that is the terminal, we don't have next state, right? Because we terminate at we terminate at this step. We don't have any next state, so we just ignore the rest of the part. So we only the Q target now only depends on the R, the reward now. And the updating rule is that when we update with plus equal to the reward, the, the learning rate, the learning rate times the TD error. That is the amount of um, gradient we want to add to the Q table in the uh, in, in in this original Q value about S and A. This is all for this tutorial. You understand how to apply apply this Q learning method. But um, uh, I, I've not mentioned the uh, maze environment. You just use this environment and practice yourself. If you like this video, please subscribe for more and like it. And even share it to other people that you think who want to know that or who is interested in that.